Coach, back to Ronnie's performance. I mean, he had beyond the points. He had a clean sheet, only one turnover. What have you seen in his growth? I know he has had problems with, with injuries, but is this is what you expect out of him? Yeah, it was something about him last season. I mean, it was, you know, like I said, when we first got here, we didn't run off any guys. We used that entire first season to really evaluate our roster for the you know entirety of the season. And Ronald had moments last season against American, against Georgia, against Fordham in, in D.C. that it's just something about his eyes and his voice that I trust. And um, he's our point guard. You know, we, we, we had to play two games in the Virgin Islands without him. You know, we had to play many games last season without him. Uh, his maturity, you know, he does a great job of taking it from the tape right to the court. You know, just before we went on the court, we showed the guys uh, an edit of last season's game, us attacking them, driving the ball. And he literally in six minutes took it from the film room right to the court and executed in a really good way. Saquon, this is his uh, most minutes he's played since since he's been here. What has he shown you to get that trust and that confidence in a, in a tight conference game to play him? You know, every day he was actually under the weather with a stomach bug. Uh, the last few days only got to practice once. Um, and uh, all, all our guys are getting better. It's, it's, it's what you need in this new era in college basketball with the – the acquisition of new players, older players, older players that have habits from Hutchinson Community College and University of New Mexico, Albuquerque. Um, it, it takes time for them to get, you know, get, to get what we want, to, to become what we want and expect. And Saquon is becoming that readily. And defensively, what is it about this unit that gives you confidence in switching everything, even down the stretch of a close game? Yeah, Matt Grace made two threes. We were playing the game, you know, really wanting to keep their paint thrust away to protect the rim. And the one guy we were going to allow to shoot some threes were Matt Grace. Uh, and he finally made them. He made two big ones at the end. And we trust our guys. We guard the ball every day in practice. And Josh did a really good job uh, defending um, at the end, Nelson, with a high hand to, to take away the three and then sliding his feet. Uh, to take away the drive, but you know what the layman may not see is behind Josh. It's not just at the line of scrimmage; it's the secondary. It's our our, our guys underneath the basket helping Josh because drivers see that guy. Coach, um, I know on the on the stat sheet doesn't show. You know, Ronnie only had two assists, but what does he? How much does he bring on the offensive side of the ball more than just you know dishing the ball out? What does he kind of bring as a everything? Guard? Everything. I mean, he's a he's a coach on the floor. It's what I've been. He's he he's he's the one who told me ticket needed to come out of the game. He knew he was in. I didn't know. He told me he's he's a sign of a great point guard is when they're asking you questions before you're ready to give an answer. What are we in? What do you want? And I haven't even assessed. It's a foul. I haven't even assessed the time score, play who's in the game, what I want. Um, that's him. He 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 is. He's he's been our starting point guard. He won the spot, uh, and he's continuing to improve. He had I don't know how many assists. He did have. Um, he had two, but he had a big one at the end. That coup three was a huge one. And I know the season's far from over, uh, but you know, heading into the new year, I know you want to win every single game. But you guys kind of around where you wanted to be heading into the you know twenty twenty three. Yeah, I mean, the new year for basketball coaches is the first day of practice or, or, or the opening game. Uh, so it is a new year as far as the calendar is concerned. But it's our same basketball season. But it is a new conference season. And whatever, I don't know what our overall record is, 1-0 and is the only record that matters at this point. Uh, we really want to you know, try our best to stay in that moment and be in this, this current moment as much as we can. It's all you can control. Kim Burton finishes with uh, 21 points, but on 18 shots. What was the approach? What was the key to making him not as efficient yeah. as you would have liked? We went to under one of his screens in the second half. He made his only three of the second half. We went under one of his screens. He made some incredible shots. In the first half, he got a good one. A ticket went for a steal, gave him a top of the key one. Just want to be attached to him and make it as hard. You're not going to stop him. You, you, you want to make it. You want to get him, get him taking shots on your terms. And he did for the most part. He made them. Give him credit. You know, they made some tough twos that you got to shake their hands and, and go the other way. These guys are, are, are really talented. Any New Year's resolutions? Any lists that you got for this team? As you guys, you know, turn the calendar year? Yeah, I want to keep getting better. I want to keep getting better every day. Um, that's it. Like I said, new year for a basketball coach is it's the first day of practice. Uh, we should have a ball drop.
first time for us. Last year in league play, you guys had a lot of close games. I think, uh, you know, the two possession games that went the other way. What did it mean today to have one of those nip and tuck games go and have you guys make the plays down the street? Yeah, we were 6-11 and 11 in two possession games last season. We lost seven games by one possession. Um, I had it listed on my board in my office all offseason. I looked at every single one of those scores every day, South Dakota State, James Madison, Washington, Richmond, GW, uh, LaSalle, Fordham, uh, St. Louis, every single game. I looked at that in a score. And, um, you know, we, we had a tough one the other day at Old Dominion. We lost by one. Uh, we're 3-2 we're and two in two possession games to this point uh, uh, this season. And I told you guys that. and didn't say that, but these are the games you, these are the games you live for. The blowouts are far and few between. They're easy. These are the games where you really, you know, earn your stripes as a player and as a team. Anything else for Kim? Thanks, guys. Happy New Year.